I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Glitch City. It's been a long time. Kept you waiting, huh? Um, so they added back, this was like a long time ago, but they added back the prologue and special demo chapters into the like main game. Which I like when things do that. Sometimes games have like a weird demo thing that's not in the main game. But it's nice to have that, you know, edited back into there. You know, as like an option or whatever. So this is the Anna demo. I don't know what the difference is between the two. Like, well, one's a demo and one's a prologue. So, I, I, but they're both not in the main game. So I, I don't know. We're just gonna go with the short one first. The one that has the lowest likelihood of encountering Dorothy. If this is your first experience with this game, I have a full playthrough of this thing. So you should probably go watch that first. Even though this is the demo, I'm doing this after all the other stuff. So I don't know. I'm sorry if that is a problem, but it is far too late to go back in time and fix that. At least I'm not serving dogs. Normally, this would be where a dog shows up, like a cheap punchline. Is there a dog? Yeah, it's not. Okay, so dogs... Do I think dogs were in the prologue, not the demo. I, I, I'm missing on so many dog jokes. Because of the order I'm playing these in. Bored? Wah! Wah! I just turned into Waluigi. Sorry, did I wake you up? I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were open. What a college, right? You know, having your eyes open means nothing. Don't worry, I don't blame you. It's been a really long time since we had such a slow night. In fact, I think the last time we had a night this slow was when we started working here. Really? Yeah, it happened when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee. That poor idiot bought a levitation potion and threw himself off a building. Rip. Oh. As it turned out, the potion actually worked. Come again. He started rising in the air and couldn't stop. He later found his body smeared across the nose of a commercial flight. It's the only way to can have a real, real place land. But anyway, I should really dismiss that so easily. We didn't have a single client that night. Not even a lost soul asking for directions. Then suddenly, a kid shows up. He's obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to let him order something. <laughs> that sounds legal. I gave him one. Carmarine, car Carmatorine, the, the the fake alcohol stuff they use. Free drink. I mean, if I was letting him order, wasn't about to give alcohol to an underage boy. And then the time came for him to pay his tab, he realized he didn't have enough money. That's a surprise. You know, little kids usually have lots of money. I mean, have you seen Pokemon? Then he yanked his shirt over his head and started screaming he's a ghost and tried to escape. I like how we're hearing the story of what happened not seeing what happens. So, I kicked him so hard that he flew out of the bar and told him his ghost couldn't feel pain. Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Of course not! I just gave him a warning. I made him a couple, wash a couple dishes. In fact, he even thought for a moment that I would kick a young, innocent child. It hurts me to no end, you know? I don't know. It seemed about right. Anyway, just keep it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. Sure hope so. Hold on! Come to think of it. Aren't Gil's checks made out to Robert? No. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's legal. <sighs> well, at least that story killed a couple of minutes. I think I'll, I don't know, sort the glasses here or something. We had a fedora shaped glass. We have the Reddit glass. Delightful. Uh, anybody here? Ah, sorry, I'll be right with the ouch. Oh, hey, it's Glitch Girl. Why, you should not exist. What are you doing here? Are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you, um... Something wrong? Are you sure you're old enough to drink? Well, seeing as I'm old enough to eat solid food, I'm gonna guess that drinking shouldn't be a problem. How dare you? You do not bring sarcasm into my bar, young lady. You know, you know that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to drink. I turned 21 not too long ago, actually. That's why I still wear this high school uniform. Up, oh, and she's Satan. Hello, Satan. How you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you, Satan. It's been like two weeks. Still don't believe me? What do you need to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. Yeah, I, I tend to see that stuff when I I'm sleepy too. What's this deja vu feeling though? It's fine. Don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. Sure, coming up. What's a sugar rush? Looks a bit too young though. Uh, I can forget how to do at anything and everything. Uh. Name, Sugar Rush, two LARPs, 
Uh, one of these. Um, she looks too young, so we're not going to give her any boost. Autumn fruity mixed. Uh, how do I mix? Mix. Did you like wait until it like vibrates? Oh, we've made a glitch drink. I, I, re I remember the glitch drinks. All right, I think you just. All right, it's like the difference between mixed and like shaken or something. I don't know. Anyway, here you go. Thanks. Hold on, this doesn't have any alcohol, does it? Nope. You really think I'm underage, don't you? Yep. I'll have you know I'm old enough to get pregnant. It's not really. It's not really relevant here, yes. Ugh. On second thought, this is actually good. Or, I mean, don't underestimate me, Baka. Doki Doki. Do you really think I look that young? I do, but not young enough to be considered underage. And why don't you give me alcohol? Because I wanted to mess with you. You'd think that, like, I've never been to a bar where, like, booze was optional and you, like, had to specify whether you wanted alcohol or not. I guess you can, like, order, like, a, a, a vert, like, <laughs> if you order a margarita, they're not going to give you a virgin margarita, like, without you specifying it. Like, this, I, I need to have a word with Miss Manager. I'm Mr. Manager! Anyway. Only if it looks like they might take it in their stride. Still, why are you so angry that I think you look young? That's... I mean, the only people who don't like being mistaken for someone younger are young people! <laughs> exactly. But to be fair, you still look older than 95% of our regulars. Wait, what? That's... That's kind of screwed up. I mean, you've certain drinks to people look like they're 13 years old or something. Yep. Jill! You're fired. Eh? Alright, well, let's get this out of the way. Please show him your ID. Maybe we should have started with this. Ah, yes. 2005X. Why don't you go with an X? Why do you have a fingerprint? I guess it is cyberpunk. Hell dystopia. Anagram. I if I heard that name before. Go ahead, just try to make a joke I haven't heard yet. <laughs> yeah, her name is Anagram. I'll politely refuse. No, I'm serious. Go ahead. People think it's too easy, so they never make jokes about my name. I'm still gonna politely refuse. You're no fun. So, what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name? You saw my name. I have the right to know yours. I'm not sure that's the case. Fair enough. I'm Jill. Jill what? Just, just Jill. Just regular Jill. Regular human Jill. Yeah, but what's your full name? Just call me Jill. Fine, I'll just pretend Jill is a way of saying your name is actually Johanna Ignacia Laurent Lone. Actually, I'll shorten it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Say, Joe, this place looks awfully desolate. Well, the game hasn't started yet, so... <laughs> Come on now, cut me some slack. Joe, she says. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. I'm really glad you showed up. I was growing bored as hell. I mean, it's not like we're always bustling with activity. This is unusual even for here. Yeah, we do usually have like three customers a day, which seems a little bit low. Like, how much do I get paid? So I take this isn't a popular place then? Whoa, harsh. We have our regulars, but we're not like the bars in the main street. All right, you can change the TV. I forgot about that. Where's, um, Hassie? Yes, I want the Burrito Galaxy one. Thank you. You can't change any of these, can you? I'm just gonna leave. Whoop. Oh, no. This is the exit sign. It looks like... Oh, I guess it is a person leaving. It's just really hard to see. Still, I like this place. It's comfy and, I don't know, it makes me feel safe. Weird. I mean, I feel that way too. This place usually gives out the opposite impression. Can't blame them, or can't blame them though. This place isn't exactly the best part of the city. That's a shame. I don't like how isolated this place feels. Can't hear the sounds of the city in here. It's nice. Then again, you can say I have some experience with isolated places. So it might just be nostalgia. I'm not sure if I should say spoilers if people are like watching this first before the other crap. I guess it doesn't really matter though. But yeah. We know who you are, Mrs. Glitch Face person. But well, we sort of do. Anyway. Speaking of coming in here, now that I think about it, you didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. Why didn't you do that if you were so suspicious? Well, firstly I was bored. 
figures. Literally, when have I ever asked for an ID? Second, I felt like you were of legal age. No, you didn't. Um, how? I've had a lot of kids coming in thinking they could come and get away with ordering a drink. But they're too nervous or jumpy. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they're dealing with. I only give drinks to kids who know what they're dealing with. That's right. What if they're... What if they're not like that, but they're still underage? They at least look like they're above legal age. I'd be able to live my, with myself, I guess. <laughs> yeah, until the freaking state regulators shut you down. I wouldn't be able to give them anything if I know they're still kids. But hey, I'm still bound to be fooled sometime. So I'm guessing I wasn't jumpy? Yep. I see. Hey Joe, now that you th you know I can drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Hmm. Give me something sweet. Sweet? Sure. Um... Why not? The same thing, but with booze. All of the booze this time. All of the booze. <laughs> Enough booze to kill a horse. There you go. Here you go. <laughs> 90% alcohol. Thanks! I'm not sure it would count as sweet anymore when it has that much. You know, if all drinks like this, I would be afraid to turn into alcohol. <laughs> I would too, my friend! I would too. Please don't joke about that. <laughs> Says the person who just overloaded her with booze. How can you say that? You're a bartender. A bartender doesn't want her clients to become alcoholics. It's like how personal trainers don't want their trainees to become steroid junkies. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Still, this one's really nice. <laughs> it's just pure alcohol. <laughs> hey Joe, do you drink? I suppose, yeah. It'd be weird for a bartender not to drink, you know? I guess. But yeah, I wanted to- I, I was gonna do another playthrough where I just got everyone wasted, but then Trash Lily showed up and she started talking more about, you know, fulfilling child molestation fantasies and I just could not, so... Sorry, that's not happening. I will play the prologue stuff, but I can't deal with Trash Lily anymore. It's too much. If this is your first Valhalla video, this is not Trash Lily. This is an entirely different person. But you- you- if you watch the original videos, you will know who Trash Lily is. It is rather blatant. And unfortunate. I don't understand how I'm- like, I've seen multiple complaints about this game, and like, no one seems to, to agree with me. I don't- I don't know. Maybe everyone else is okay with Trash Lily. I- I don't know. Anyway. Let's just pretend we- we do not even know that Trash Lily exists. I don't know. I've met Dennis with bad teeth. Bartenders who don't- who don't drink would totally make sense. I guess you don't really need to necessarily drink the alcohol to test the drinks. Like, you just make it without booze. I, well, in some cases. A margarita without booze makes sense, but like... I don't know. Bloody Mary- like, what is... What is a Bloody Mary without booze? I guess it's just like tomato juice and like... A, a, one of those celery stick things. That's silly, it'd be like a vegan chef running a barbecue restaurant. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you eat or drink whatever it is you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Yeah, never trust a skinny chef. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's true. Dennis might have bad teeth, but he could still be working in dentistry. But why bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? My dentist is jealous of my teeth, by the way. I'm proud of that. Except for the part, I hope she doesn't, like, anesthetize me and steal my teeth. That would be problematic, but otherwise, yes. Something wrong? I just noticed you haven't said my name yet. I haven't. What? Aside from when you read my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called out yours like a gazillion times now. You're calling me Joe. Exactly. This is why I like Jill. Every, every time I make a smart-ass remark, Jill also has the same remark. We are, we are one. Well, I have another need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. Why? Say my name, say my name, say my name! Sigh. Anna. One more time. Anna. Yes, that one more time! I'm, I'm charging $5 per name say. Oh! Nana? It happened again. I mean, I need glasses? I need, I need me some of them anti-glitch glasses, you know? It's a feeling again. Did you see something gl glitch out in the past? Oh, come on. Why'd you want me to say your name? 
like hearing people call me by name. It feels personal and fuzzy. Yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit... Quirky? We don't need any more quirky people here. We are way over a quirk quota. Exactly. Exactly. Creepy. I don't know about that. I mean, you, you, you are a, like, glitch-faced high school anime girl that walked into my bar. It's a little bit creepy already. There's a certain someone who would wake me up in the morning by saying my name. That is also creepy. Your name's important. Once you know someone's name, the gap between you and that person disappears. That must be why it's so bad at remembering people's names. This is why I like online stuff, because everyone's name is like over here in the corner. That's the real life needs this, where you can see their name. And you don't gotta be like, Alright, we've, we've, we've worked together for like two years, but I've only seen you like five times. I have no idea what your name is. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get the awkwardness out of the way and ask, but no, it's just like, bloop. I guess that's why in like service industries and crap, usually have a little name tag or you know. Anyway, once you give names to things, you start seeing those important members of the family. So what if it's creepy? It's so nice! I'm not sure that's the case. Stop calling me Joe and use my real name then. Say, Anna, can I ask you something? You call me by my name, so sure. What's your arm? What about it? Oh yeah, I'm lacking one. Did saying the word creepy remind you of its absence? I actually have been wanting to ask about it since you came in. <laughs> you can't actually tell that from the sprite. I had actually no idea. At least be uncomfortable for a second. I'm trying to get a rise out of you, sheesh. So what is it? How did I lose it? It's not too personal. Huh. I, literally, I guess... No, I, I can't really... With the sprite, I can't really tell. It isn't. I'm actually proud of the tail. Uh, why? You're looking at a proud survivor of nanomachine rejection. Nanomachines! I forgot about all the nanomachines. Really? That was something the doctor detected while a fetus is still in the womb. Yes and no. There are actually two types of nanomachine rejection syndrome. Oh shit, she's Solid Snake! Or not Solid Snake, she's Venom Snake. She's gonna rocket punch me, oh no! The first one's the most common. They usually detect it while you're still a fetus. And that's when you turn into a cat boomer. <laughs> All right, I forgot nano machines are why we have cat girls. What a beautiful world this is. The other world, the other one, can sometimes appear in your teenage years. It's incredibly rare, but it's still possible. So what about that arm? Nano machine reject basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping apart, and your organs malfunction. I was lucky. In the end, all I lost was an arm, a handful of toes. Uh, get it? A handful, because I lost five. Thanks. Get out of my bar. I remember this. I remember asking many, many people to get out of my bar. I have a prosthetic arm, but it's in maintenance right now. Oh, I see. It's a bit weird to be without it. I still feel like it's there. The Phantom Pain. Guys, I'm already a demon. Just a couple hours ago, I tried to grab something and I just stood there thinking my arm was doing something. But anyways, mind getting me another drink? We can keep talking about my stump after that. Um, right. Uh, what do you want? Let's try something classy. It's weird being a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. How is a sugar rush not fancy? You f ha. Classy. Let's get a... <laughs> Brandini still makes me giggle every time. I just, I just want to engage with this brand. One carp barp aged. How do I age, like, the drink? How does this work? How do you tip a- tap a button and it's aged? <laughs> like, I just made, like, whatever. Yeah. I love brand teeny. This looks expensive, alright. I'm starting to have second box right now. Just drink it. Do I not ask for money before giving the drink, either? What is- this bar is terrible at being a bar. I'm starting to feel dizzy, that's nice. I, I, I loaded you with like, maximum frickin' booze before. Of course, I spent so much time in hospitals and now, but so I'm, now I'm just living my life, you know? I wanna feel the good and the bad. No more being forced to sit quietly in a quarantine room. Yeah, I can get that. Wait, quarantine? Type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put in special chambers free from the nanomachine particles in the air. That prevents them from being assimilated and aggregating their whole situation. To be fair, not all my memories of that chamber are bad. I did spend three, four years in one of those places. Jesus. Really? That long? Well, I couldn't go for the genetic level treatment. So it was longer, and a lot less expensive. 
I'm not gonna complain though. I'm still alive thanks to all that. And I left with so many fond memories too. So that's what you meant with the whole feeling nostalgic and isolated places thing. Yep. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just dizzy. Hey Joe, if I ordered two drinks, would you be willing to share one with me? Come again. To be honest, talking about the treatment and all that made me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if it's not something you can do, but I had to ask. Not something I normally do, but eh, what the hell, sure. Really? Yay! On a piano man and a piano woman. On it. Alright. Piano. Type piano. Okay. Let's go by. Um, two of these, three of them. Five of them. Five. <laughs> Flanders eyed. You gotta have some Flanders in your drinks. Those are big drinks. Rocks. Mixed. One of them. Piano woman. One of these. What is even the difference? It's got more aldehyde in it, I guess. Potter's Blas. Got less Flanders. I'll get the less Flanders drink. Aged. Next. Alright. Give me the one with less Flanders in it, thanks. Two drinks. Which one do you want? Do you prefer the man or the woman? Oh, I see what you did, you little. Oh, I'm fine with either, really. Oh, ho, ho. okay. I'll pick the woman, then. Cheers. I see your ploy. Alright, this is getting weird. As I said, cheers! Oh, cheers. Yeah! Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. I'm just dizzy and sad. Sad? I miss Lynette. Lynette? Who? She and I were the only patients with nanomachine rejection syndrome in the hospital. We were together every day. Did you really be, like, with somebody who also has, like, explosive nanomachine rejection syndrome? When it was time to eat, she was there. During visit hours, she was there. Whenever I slept, whenever I cried, whenever I laughed, she was always there. I lost my arm. She told me I could have hers as compensation. I can use it whenever I wanted. What happened to her? Tokyo flu. That sounds like an anime. It sounds like an intense anime. Something went wrong with her immune system and the flu started kicking in. I tried to rush part of her treatment to reduce symptoms, but only made the nanomachines go wild. It eventually got to her brain and... I see. Sorry to hear that. The worst part is they left her spin. I might have been able to spend an extra year or so with her. But all the work only got her killed sooner. I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. She just vanished. It's tough. I miss her every day, you know. I say I want to forget her, but the truth is that I just want this pain to go away. It's been two years and I still feel the pain. Every second is just a second without her. I just get so lonely. Sorry, am I making you uncomfortable, Joe? You're not, don't worry. Still, sorry about that. I just... We had so many plans we were about to do after we left. We were so close to being together without the pesky nanomachine rejection. It's not fair, you know? Why do I get to be here while she doesn't? But you're not here. But... I try to enjoy life as much as I can. I try it for the both of us. It doesn't seem to be enough. What do you think? Oh, I think? Uh... I think about my grandpa. Your grandpa? He was a... harsh guy. Really insincere, but... not one to mess with platitudes. It's not like he had a lot of enemies, but... many people were cautious around him. Once he died, I never heard a single bad comment about him. I even one of those who used to badmouth him every now and then. Really? Well... The best thing about death is that after you die, all the wrongs you ever committed feel meaningless. Do they? It really makes you think about how petty some things can be. Yeah. That's like I thought. It doesn't have much to do with what you said, does it? What I'm trying to say here is, don't try so hard. Just live, you know? Don't be a tryhard. Be grateful you have that chance. I know what you're feeling right now. But you'll get better. Eventually all you remember is the happy moments. After you're dead. Which, I guess, is actually relevant, but never mind. It sounds like you and your grandpa were close. He was my best friend. I think it was quite the blow. Do you have any regrets in regards to him? That's not. I will say, I don't entirely understand what the deal is with her. I... Maybe you're not supposed to. I guess maybe that is, in fact, the thing. That is often the thing with mysterious characters. I also feel I've complained everything completely in the wrong order. And that's... <laughs> 
Well, I already played the main game, so it doesn't really matter. I, I can't un I can't undo it. You saw it, you can't unsee it. Man, it's not like I had a dramatic goodbye or anything like that. He died in a hospital bed while I was at home, but I don't know. Never had a heated discussion with him, so I didn't have that problem. Sure is always a bit I wish I could have told him this, but that's bound to happen, regardless of who you're talking about. Did you leave Lynette after a fight or something? No, of course not. Then you're luckier than most people. Dun dun dun. Oh. What I mean is... Whenever you feel depressed, remember that she left your life while you both on good terms. Whenever you feel down, just try to hold on to that. Yeah, I can try that. That chewed me up a bit somehow, thanks. Anytime. I should be leaving now. Thanks for having Thanks for such a lovely night, Joe. If you're lonely again, just come back. I will. Oh, that was an entertaining diversion. Ah, boss, what happened? I came to ask you that, huh? You just spent an hour talking to yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't. There was a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. Why didn't you come earlier? I was actually telling you you are going to close for tonight. You were here chatting with thin air. The spirit had talked, too. That can't be. She paid for her drinks. Registry says the money came from your account. <laughs> a ghost just freaking robbed me and took, like, five drinks. But all the drinks I served her. I mean, the liquid that someone who's definitely not going to be here has to clean off the floor. God damn it. Ghosts. Ghosts robbed me and they made a mess on the floor. Chill, you're worrying me. Why did you not stop me after, like, the first drink? The second drink? Or the third drink? Last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. Are you the first one who talks to herself? Are you sure there wasn't anyone else here? I haven't checked the security cameras. So you're here by yourself the whole time. What a good boss. I'm, like, having a mental breakdown. She's like, yeah, I'll tell her later. It's, it's fine. This is more fun to watch. Maybe you're tired. You're probably just sleep talking really intensely or something. Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'll drive you home. Maybe you just need a rest. Yeah. The hell just happened? Well, you know. Things happen. <laughs> well, that was fun. I lost all of my money. And freaking ghost robbed me. Well. Next time, probably out of order, I will play the prologue. I kind of get a feeling that from playing that, I was supposed to play that after the prologue. I didn't know which order the things came in, but I wanted to do that one because it was shorter. Anyway. Oh, the little things are different. Um, this was like, farewell something bartender before, but it's just like random quotes here. But yeah, that's a reference to Ballad of Gay Tony, that, uh, GTA thing or dinger. Never played that. Look at her hair, by the way. She's got like major, like, fringular things going on. Anyway, that was Valhalla's demo, and uh, I'll be checking out the prologue as well.